Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you a little activity that you might have students do with ChatGPT. I'm calling it Annotating AI. Let's go ahead and take a look at what I have in mind here. So let's say my students are using ChatGPT to find out some information about Abraham Lincoln. As a history teacher, U.S. history teacher, this is a very common topic. And so let's say they type in something like, you know, why did Lincoln have two different vice presidents? And it's kind of a basic little query here, and we'll see some text that gets generated for us. Right. Now, like anything else with chat GPT, we may or may not like what's generated for us, and we can regenerate that response if we want to. But what I want my students to do here is let's go ahead and let's say we're going to take this text and we'll put it in a Word document. And so I've now pasted it into the Word document and I want them now to annotate this. I want them to go out and find some support for these claims or dispute some of the claims that were made here by ChatGPT. And so I might have them do something like this where they highlight and then use the comment function here and they're going to add in some more information. I might give them a little prompt in fact and say something like please find three sources to support this claim. Add those sources to the document. And so we're going to add that right into the document as a little comment for my students. And they can then go and add to the document the sources that they find to support that claim or to dispute the claim that's made there. So that's a little activity you might have your students do when they're using chat GPT. Now I have a similar activity outlined using Google Bard and Google Documents, and the link for that video is in the description right down below. As always, for more things like this, please visit practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.